So, I finally heard that GTA 5 is uh, coming out of March of next year. Uh, to be honest though, I kind of knew about the release date, but I wasn't really entirely sure if it was going to be coming out yet. First off, I heard it as rumors over the internet about being out uh, of March of next year, and then afterwards... And now I finally hear, yes, it's fi finally having a release date in March. To be honest, though, I really don't know an exact release date in March just yet. But so far, that's all I heard, just March of, 20 of 2013. But so far, not so far, n not an exact release date of it just yet. Probably for me, though, I'm probably going to be waiting until March to get the game, but that's just me. Unless I, unless I finally hear of an exact release date, I'm pretty much just going to be getting it in April instead. But I actually, but then my friend uh, Tristan on the, who I have friends with on PSN, he sent me this uh, message, and it was a link from IGN of, uh, of Rockstar asking... What should we really have um, for the multiplayer mode in Grand Theft Auto 5? So I thought I would answer that question and pretty much as well though um, uh, as well if you guys like I'll leave I'll even um, uh, you can just leave your suggestions down in the comment section below as well if you played that if you if you have um, any ideas of what the multiplayer mode for GTA 5 should be like. But for me I'm thinking uh Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch mode for sure. It's kind of like if, a, if you guys remember Call of Duty, it's kind of like it. But even better, you can run somebody over with a car and it counts as a kill. So that's kind of awesome. You can actually just run somebody over with a car and then and it'll count as a kill. Yeah, it's yeah. The deathmatch and team deathmatch mode is kind of like uh, what you would expect in Call of Duty. You know, just trying to find somebody. And then, though the only problem that I had with it in Ballad of Gay Tony was the bat was the battle was the battlefield section that you have were actually shrunk down to like a little acre, and it, that kind of sucked. Like if I had the suggestion to either have a shrunken down acre or like a whole section, I would actually just about go with a whole section. I don't know about you guys, but having just a little shrunken down section with only a few guns laid around and then afterwards with just a few guns laid around just doesn't do it for me. I'd rather just have a whole section where you could just where you could just see guns and being laid out for like miles. Again though that's just me. But uh yeah, deathmatch team deathmatch mode for sure. You just you just go, all you're doing in deathmatch is just trying to find somebody, and then you come up to them, and then boom, 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 shoot them out, kill them. And, but like I said as well, though, you can even run them over with a car, and it counts as a kill, if you completely knock them over entirely with a car. So that's one good thing that you can get, so that's one thing you can actually do that you can that you can't never do in Call of Duty, run somebody over with a car. <laughs> Again, though, I just hope they return that mode of a for GTA 5 because I really like to see that return. I guess another thing would be is uh, Mafia Works. Just because Mafia Works in GTA 4, uh, it's a it's a little strange. Instead, it's like this: so you wander around town, and then you get this phone call from Mr. Petrovich, and then he gives you an objective. And then basically what you're supposed to do is just get to that objective first before somebody else does. And then afterwards, if you do the objective correctly, you get some money. And then basically, um, uh, by the time the timer reaches zero, whoever has the most money by the end of the by the end of the game wins. Except if you're playing them um, uh, for like a certain amount of money, and, and then it's just whoever reaches that amount first is the winner. So yeah, that's a that's one thing about Mafia works. You can just play against a time limit, or just have a have it set for like a certain amount of money, and whoever reaches that certain amount first wins, or whoever has some more money by the time the timer reaches zero wins. And I guess another 
mode I would really like to see is Grand Theft Auto Race. <laughs> there is a race mode in back in GTA 4, but but it's mostly boring. It's just about it's basically it's just you're just about it's just you're just in a car, you're going out, down a route and then afterwards after a certain amount of laps, whoever whoever gets a whoever reaches first place after after the certain number of laps is over, then you finally then you finally win the race. But GTA race is a little more funner just because you can actually get guns because there's even guns and med kits on the racetrack and and the funniest thing is is once you finally have a gun you can just sneak up to the person right ahead of you and then shoot out their tires and then they just end up going swirling across the road and going like boom hit a wall. <laughs> That's one thing I kind of like, just seeing somebody, just somebody sneaking up right behind them and then shooting them with a gun and then right afterwards uh, they should shoot up the tires and they end up swerving off the road before they end up smashing into a wall or something. <laughs> and lastly, the very last one I hope is uh, Bomb the Base. Well, it's actually Bomb the Base 2 in G Grand Theft Auto 4 and even weirder. It's actually a co-op game. Yeah, in Grand Theft Auto 4, the last few game modes that you have is actually is actually uh is actually uh, a bunch of co-op games. Like even as well, there's one where you have to pick up Mr. Petrovich at the airport, and then afterwards all the cops show up, and then afterwards you're supposed to I'm gonna uh, get Mr. Petrovich, I'm, uh, and then afterwards, just get him to the get him to a safe zone, get him to a safe spot, I'm, uh, away from the cops and all that stuff. Like I said, there's all there's like um, uh, the last few are just basically of a uh, a bunch of co-op games, but I really like to keep them. Uh, but if there has to be one that they have to return, it will have to be Bomb the Base. That was my very favorite co-op game of all. First up, though, you're just a uh, you know Quinn. And then afterwards, you're supposed to find this federal truck because they actually have a C4 in the truck. And then after you finally um, hijack the truck, you're supposed to take it to this extraction point. And the next thing is, is you're driving by a helicopter. And then basically, you're just going to the boat at East Hook. Kind of like, uh, kind of like if you plan to uh, go kill Dimitri Raskolov in the normal GTA 4 game. You're supposed to go to East Hook I'm to kill him. And that's basically what's happening. You're just going to the boat I'm in East Hook. And then afterwards you just I'm set you just set two I'm a, two and then afterwards you're just setting up two spots of C four on the boat. And then you're supposed to get off the boat before the boat before it explodes. And once you finally do that, that's it. You finally beat the game. You can still lose as well because you have a certain number of lives and if you and all your partners end up getting killed and end up losing all their lives then you fail the whole mission and then that's it. But yeah that's pretty much it though. Like I said you're just stealing a truck, you're hijacking it, you're taking it to a distraction point, then you're going to the boat and then, you, then you're flying to a helicopter to the boat, at, about, to the boat out in East Hook. It's even ironic. It's actually the first. It's actually where you are at the very beginning of Grand Theft Auto 4. That's actually where Nico gets off the boat, and then afterwards Roman picks him up. That's actually where you are at the beginning of the game as well. So yeah, kind of an iconic spot for fans who actually remember the very beginning of Grand Theft Auto 4. But yeah, basically. Uh, that's about it. I guess some of you guys, I'm a, I, and I guess I'm a just for good measure, free mode. <laughs> yeah, free mode. I seen I, I am a. I know a few people who always just like to do free mode. Basically, it's just whatever you. It's just do. It's just basically you can just do whatever you want. I find it kind of boring, except if I'm playing with the cops on, and then afterwards, I would just rather go. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna get, grab the cops' attention and then stealing their big uh, iron truck. Basically, you can actually make it appear if you get a four-star wanted level, and then right afterwards, I just end up stealing the thing and then and then end up using it as a using it end up ended up using it as a ended up ending up using it just to out 
outdrive the cops. It's a really big armored vehicle too, so it's so so basically a cop to us. So then by the time that you try and steal it, and the cops start shooting at you, they'll just they won't end up making a dent on the on the vehicle unless they shoot the tires out of it, which I don't know why why would they would really do that. But yeah, anyway though, if you guys want to play GTA 4 and you think uh, you have any ideas for what should be in G for the multiplayer modes for GTA 5, let me know down there in the comment section. I would really like to know. Anyway though, I'll see you guys later. There should be more Animal Crossing acapellas I'm, uh, up, up pretty shortly. I'm just trying to make up a list in my head before I go back to making any more at the minute. So I'll see you guys later.